you mad, bro? Why you mad, bro? I ain't mean to make you sad. Yo, my bad, bro. So what you mad for? Why you mad, bro? It was at that moment, Hit knew, he fucked up. Welcome to Random Fandom. In today's video, I'll be taking over his channel with my robotic voice and then destroying the universe next with the Badger Q, Desert Eagle, Shurikens, and Nukes. Just kidding, but we'll be discussing the reasons behind the upcoming death of Bullet Force. Of course with the viewpoints of many others including myself. B Nate's Gamer, Kinesi Mobile, and other YouTubers who used to play the game. But first a message from our sponsor, Personify Chroma Cam. Do you need a green screen but don't have the space or can't afford one? Then you need Personify Chroma Cam. This program will allow you to use your laptop webcam or any other webcam that you may have with a green screen effect. It's available for free to use forever with watermark or you can buy the chroma cam pro for a one-time fee of thirty dollars check it out in the description below there are many reasons why players quit bullet force here is some evidence showing the corruption of the developers and moderators back a few months ago they used to run a clan by the name of ae actions that would have normally gotten normal players banned were waived for members of this clan these actions include, but are not limited to, hacking, abusing bugs and glitches, account sharing, swearing or being otherwise disrespectful in-game and in the community Discord server, posting immoral sexual content and sexually harassing people. As an additional bonus, members in this clan were given special preferential treatment when it came time to select new staff members. The clan has now disbanded but there's still evidence going around that they created a new clan and have a secret Discord server to continue their corrupt legacy. I'm going to continue going through the evidence in this clip I made. We'll take a quick trip through my collection of tweets where I asked the community why they quit. I'm also going to show where I got blocked on Twitter from seeing the game's page, this especially shows how they decide to silence me and potentially others who know and tell the truth about these corrupt developers. And I'm going to show the Reddit and Blaze Games exposure server where a lot of evidence has been posted.
server where a lot of evidence has been posted. Please note, I'm going to go through this fast. Stay twisting like it is server where a lot of evidence has been posted.
server where a lot of evidence has been posted. Twin stay twisting like it just done. Please pull up right behind and finish throw. The windows down, gotta stop pollution. Be changed just like who is that producing? It's the best deals when we out and cruising. Got warrants in every city except Houston, but still ain't losing. They see me rolling. Corruption isn't the only issue. We have pay to win. Unbalanced weaponry that would make even psychopath Hitler jealous. As you may have saw earlier, with the example of the AS Val and the Honey Badger, the new weapons are power creeping on the old ones and overpowered. Check out this example of how Lucas said the game wouldn't be paid to win, bearing in mind that Lucas isn't the main dev now, it's hit. How, how are you going to monetize it, um, and is it going to be pay to win, and, and like as far as the weapon balancing, what, what's that going to be like? Yeah, it's, it's definitely not going to be pay to win, so you'll only be able to buy the guns with in-game money that you earn through playing the game, and you can't buy in-game money through net purchases, so basically you can't pay your way to the top. All the weapons will be unlockable just through playing the game normally. Is that what you're yeah, saying? Yeah, exactly, yeah. And can we get that in writing that you will promise to keep the game that way? Yes, I will promise. <laughs> <laughs> And that all weapons would be obtainable by just playing not by getting scammed on an offer wall, or wasting precious oxygen by watching ads about your mom's favorite game Candy Crush, or by wasting what little you had left of your life's savings. As proof of how expensive everything in this game is, here is the cost. The total you would have to pay to unlock only gold obtainable items would be $3,230.12 and that was months ago, it's more now. This includes all the skins and gold weapons, it does not include the credit guns which you would have to grind for years to get if you're a normal player. Here's an edited quote from Extinction on Reddit. For my Australian brethren out there, this equates to $5,345.02. If you're looking for some new wheels, here are all of the cars you can buy in Australia for under $5,300. He linked a site here. If you don't want a car and instead want a roof over your head, $5,300 could, on average across the city of Brisbane, get you four and a half months of rent for one person. Maybe you just want a snack. Let's say you want to go to McDonald's for a meal. A medium Big Mac meal that comes with a medium drink, medium fries, and a Big Mac burger costs a median price of $10 in Australia. If you had two medium Big Mac meals every week, Assuming prices never rise, $5,300 would last you for 265 weeks, or just over 5 years. If that doesn't sound an alarm to how bad this game is, just think of all the bugs and problems. There's no reason the game should be this way. If you still don't believe it's fucked up, then sorry you are fucked up in the brain and should go back to elementary school or seek immediate medical attention. The only two weapons in game with an integrated silencer are the Honey Badger and the AS Val. As you can see the Badger is way better, but is gold exclusive and pay to win. The Desert Eagle while has mostly the same stats as the 44 Magnum, has a huge advantage with the higher magazine capacity and almost double the fire rate. The Tech 9 is better than the M1911 and Compact 45 not just in general performance but also in the fact that it holds double or even triple the amount in ammunition. Not only that but it's also better than the Glock 18 as it's far more powerful and accurate, meaning you waste much less ammo. 
The Tommy gun is a unrealistic, unbalanced, and pay-to-win submachine gun with long-range capability exceeding that of many weapons including the Scar H. Since it also has a drum magazine, it holds a fuckton of ammunition giving it a huge advantage. An example of just a general balancing issue, not so much as a pay-to-win issue, is the M870 MCS versus the M40A5. The M40A5 has pathetic range capabilities as it shares the same range as the shotgun, and most weapons have more range, including the pistols previously shown. I'm not going to even bother showing off the Barrett, which of course is the only sniper rifle capable of killing with one hit at extremely long distances, like in the new map Aftermath. Since it's also a gold exclusive, it is paid to win. Also never forget about the UMP sniper submachine gun at early access, the throwing knives, and the fidget spinners with blades known as shurikens. There's more pay to win guns, but I'm not going to bother covering them. <coughs> pay to win isn't the only issue. With many weapons now becoming gold exclusives and pay to win, those who can't afford them may be more prone to try out hacks to get the weapon for free. Next thing you know. They try other types of hacks and you end up with this. Here's an example of a hacker I caught. He had unlimited ammo and a fully automatic M320 HE. Therefore he could drop nukes very quickly as well, since he could murderize innocent people so fast. WTF dude. It's the dream. Alright. That only took an eternity, and I know why it took so long. Because there was so much shit showing off complaints of corruption and more. You certainly didn't see everything. There's still so much more to go over, especially in that Discord server, so I'm going to magically leave a teleportation hacks link in the description below. Also the pedophile.pdf document exposing CES will be linked below. That jackass hit really did fuck up. Now let's hear from some other YouTubers who used to play the game. <laughs> Be Nate's Gamer, let's go. Hey guys, we're Nate's Gamer and I'm back with another Bullet Force video. And uh, yeah, this is the video you guys have been waiting on for a while. And honestly, I think this is the perfect time to talk about it because I'm nearing the end zone, man. I'm about to cross the finish line and I'm not gonna look back uh, very soon. So let's talk about this game, man. Um, we're gonna be talking about what's wrong with Bullforce, um, but without further ado, let's get into it.
Now, before we go ahead and get into these little points I'm going to be talking about, I do want you guys to keep in mind that this game has been out for about a year or two now, um, and even before that, it's been through excessive alpha and beta testing from Lucas himself, um, by himself, like, for the most part in the beginning, and then as soon as me and, like, iChase hopped in, that's when it really started to get things going. Things have just not been changing. Um, more so also me kind of putting myself out there to the team be like hey i really want to help you guys out i don't think the right things are being pushed out right now please come see me i really think i can help with the perks and because like really refine this game to be a just completely revamped you know but no such luck they have not answered me they have no i guess need or want to do that So anyways, let's just get into this video. Menus, yes, menus, menus, menus. So this game's been out for a while, and the menus, I'm gonna say guys, I'm not gonna hold anything back, they're pretty atrocious. Um, the switching between menus is fine, like you go to the armory, or you go to multiplayer, like that's fine. But when you go to armory, man, that's the part. So when you're switching through weapons, assault rifles, SMGs, shotguns, um, snipers, all that stuff, your primaries, are all in one little like horizontal slot you cannot look at them via categories you have to manually press and press on the side until you get to the one you want that is not very good the other thing the damage accuracy hit fire stability range all those stats for the weapons are not very good either because if you want to look at let's see the badger versus the ak-47 or something they're so far away apart from each other when you scroll that you just, you can't look at the numbers. You'd have to physically take a picture of each weapon, go to your photos and scroll like through that and see which one's better or which one's worse or why. And even so, you don't get it very well. Um, I actually recommended that they use like boxes, like for damage, if it's like a three box, you know, like there's like a scale of 10 or something. And they, if it has a three box, there you go. AK has like four boxes, so you know it's stronger. Anywho. That's not very good. Um, when you hit customize, same thing with the camos. It's a horizontal thing. You can't choose them in some sort of organized way. You literally have to... You can't even scroll. You actually have to tap to each one, which is not good. The barrel attachments in sight, I mean, there are so few of those that it doesn't necessarily matter. But regardless, there's my point. Um... The kill streaks are fine. I mean, those are yeah organized, but the system's kind of wonky too, in a way. Um, the perks, um, the perks are okay. It's a scrollable manner, but I feel like it can do some work. Um, and we'll talk about the perk system in just a little bit. Um, in general, though, just I don't think it's very user friendly. Um, from my personal opinion, it's just an absolute mess. So the perk and kill streak system, it's kind of just not working right now. It's kind of frustrating. So uh, there are little things that just that just don't work anymore. So the perk system that I created um, was to have perks that had points, and each perk would have a point. You'd have like a one point or two point or three point, and you would have a total of I believe ten slots. But I noticed it didn't work so well. The system didn't allow for me to really choose other ones that I wanted because the ones I was using were basically crutch for me. Like I had to have them to do well in a game. And that that isn't good. It's it's a little flawed. And so what I recommended at the time, like a couple months ago, was hey, instead of 10 slots, let's make it like 12, 14, something like that, so, so people can use more perks. Um, they didn't want to do that. Um, so then I was like, okay, how about, you know, contact me, we'll try, you know, or, or I'll just, why don't you guys kind of reallocate the slots, the points, so that people would use other ones, um, without diminishing the others as well that they used before. They didn't seem to care about that because nothing's happened. Um, the killstreaks on the other hand, the killstreaks I seem, they seem okay. Um, as far as just kind of simple uh, kill streaks, it was actually kind of hard for me to think of some that that were in 
that were in Lucas's head that he thought he can do, like to do like and the ability to control an airplane in the air, like you call it in and you're in the airplane shooting. Lucas at the time didn't think he could do that. That's why those were out of the table. So anything out of his mind reach, it was not possible. So these were kind of the ones that that could work. Um, so these seem okay, but the problem is, the problem is you cannot use multiple streaks at once. Why? I've said this for so many months. Why? If I get UAV, counter UAV in haste, and I have them all there, I haven't activated them yet, and I press UAV, I can't use the other two streaks I earn. Why? You should be able to. I've said that for so long, and it just has not happened. Why, 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 why? Why? Maps, 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 maps. Okay, so let's just get the cat out of the hat right here. Uh, Aftermath is the worst map in this game. <laughs> Hands down. What? What? Why? Like, no offense to whoever created it, but it's just, it's not a very good map. It's literally a... It's a very heavy spawn trap. Yes, the other maps are spawn traps as well, but this is super heavy. There are ways to avoid this, to rework the spawn system, to create spawns that have multiple ways to get in and out of, so you're not kind of stuck there and spawning in one kind of spot. Um, and with Aftermath, they have the sides. Yes, they have the sides. It's kind of like a three-lane map. Well, kind of like a three-lane map in a way. But when you go on the sides, it takes so freaking long to get around, and the sides aren't very well made. One of them is just kind of like a straight kind of tunnel with boxes, which you can go straight behind the enemy spawn. Or you can go to the other one, which is a huge freaking wasteland, which takes forever that, honestly, when I play Aftermath, no one goes there. No one kind of, because it's, it's just a waste of space, honestly. Now the middle, you have a crane. People head glitch the hell out of that crane, or whatever that is, that machine. Um, the crates you use as cover, that's fine, but then there are times and I cannot stress this enough. Just freaking snipers camping in the back. As soon as you enter the little area, the main area in the middle, people just sit there and snipe. It's a sniper fest. Sniper fest, camper, not good. Now, but that's not the worst part, guys. The worst part about this map is that whenever you press TDM or any mode, you know what you get? Aftermath. You literally get no other map. It's, it's a miracle if you get another map. It's always Aftermath. And that's mostly probably because it's a new map and people just want to play it. Or it's such a spawn trap that people just freaking are just abusing that map. And it's like, yeah, 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 you know. Honestly. Not a very good map. <laughs> just going to say that. Um, there are also maps that have not been patched um, in terms of their exploits. Aftermath did get a fix because there were people camping on top of that little area. Sniping, which was so damn annoying, uh, but there are other maps that have exploits that are not yet fixed um, And there are also some paths that need to be you know crossed or added or something to the maps basically just need to be refined in In all due respect uh, prison. I haven't played that map. It's so long and I love that map Why <laughs> I just it's just not showing up um, and that's the thing also so um I guess we'll, we'll get into this in the same topic. With the content in this game, let me put it this way. I went to the app. I went to version history. The past seven months, seven months, guys, the past seven months have consisted of two maps and one, two, three, four, five, six new guns, and then basically, essentially, bug fixes and weapon balances. Um, not too many weapon balances, but some, and then bug fixes. So... In seven months, you're telling me that two new maps are available? Like, no, 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 no. That's not good. Two maps, and then, what, what did I say, six guns? Yeah. So the Canyon Aftermath were the two new maps. L85, ASVAL, Tech 9, Op, Badger, and the Minibot are the weapons. Like, that doesn't seem very good. Like, I feel like more maps should have been put out. Um, the weapons could have waited a little bit, because um, the, the old ones still had to be balanced. Anyways, there's that. Now, in terms of weapons, I don't want to go into it 
uh, because there there's a lot of weapons in this game, and the fact that I need to go through each one to kind of really nitpick which are balanced, which are unbalanced. Let's just say that there are some that are balanced, there are some that are not, and there's just I don't know, not a very good mixture right now. I don't, I at least in my opinion, this is all my opinion, guys, but I don't think it's a very good mixture right now. Um, and I, I just I feel things could be a little bit better on that aspect. Now, gold, again, I'm not going to touch the gold um, or the early access, all that stuff, because I personally, me, I've got gold and stuff as being a mod, so that really hasn't bothered me. For those who aren't a mod in this game and get it, you know, by buying gold or watching ads or stuff, I don't know how that is on their side, which it kind of makes me ignorant on that subject, so I'm not going to talk about that, but that may or may not be an issue. I'm going to leave it up to you guys. In terms of the game modes, the game modes. So, there are a few game modes. There are Team Deathmatch, Free For All, Conquest, Gun Game, Hardcore TDM, Hardcore FFA, and VIP. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Me, I only play TDM, Free For All, and Gun Game. Every other mode is just boring and does not, just does not work for me. Conquest... I never liked in the beginning. I didn't think it was very well made. Um, I would have preferred a domination type thing where there was three flags and you know you had to fight for that instead of like the five flags spawning on them and stuff. I don't like that. Um, I also don't see many people play it. VIP, same thing. I don't see many people play it and it's not too much fun. The hardcore modes, I honestly have not touched. I'm just not a hardcore man, so that could be something completely different. I just don't play that. Um, but yeah, so basically three modes. Um, and I wish there were more kind of official modes. I mean, you can kind of make your own modes when you create a match and you can put only sniper and then just kind of ban all the other guns except the snipers. You can do that, but it would be nice to see kind of official modes kind of bring brought out every once in a while. Cause that's, that's kind of what's going on with games nowadays, the trends, um, especially these big multiplayer games is, is strictly they, they put limited time modes out there cause it really in, in sense you to play that, give it a try. And then the team, from the game like gets to see that look at the numbers and be like okay so people really like the way that you only can use this weapon or they really like that mode or, or any stuff like that, and they can work with that so just putting that out there now aside from everything that I just said in general this game uh, has still some issues sometimes with connection wise where you're hitting someone too much or or just something goes on where the gunfight just doesn't feel right. Um, so that could atone to the servers, to, to, to someone's ping or something along those lines. Those are always tricky. You can never get those like perfect. Um, so there's that. There's still bug fixes going around. Uh, or sorry, bugs that were going around and fixes that still need to be brought up. So that still needs to be still needs to be going. Um, and basically, guys, this game has run its course. Uh, there are games like Fortnite now, like a console game on mobile now. Uh, Modern Combat also has run its course. Like there are just bigger games, bigger companies that are coming out to mobile that are gonna step on the plate, and they're showing you know, they're showing up these guys and. It's leaving all these other games in the dust. And I know people still play these games, like it's fun and all. But at the end of the day, like other games are going to be taking over. Like PUBG I see is getting really big. Fortnite is Fortnite. <laughs> COD Mobile is coming out soon. You know, just it's kind of hard to kind of put yourself, to kind of invest yourself in so many games at once, you know. That's why I personally am cutting down on games that I'm not really enjoying anymore. Uh, and kind of focusing on games that I really enjoy um, as well as what you guys like to see but um, it also has to do with the fact that the devs for instance they're just I don't think that they seem to be putting that much of an effort in this game in the updates and what their kind of vision is for this game I know that they tweeted out like a couple days ago about like what games do you feel need balance and you literally it was a poll where you can choose any gun you want you tap it and then when you press next it says what do you think should be buffed or nerfed like damage range all that stuff like that's great and all
but the thing is the content the game itself is just it's getting old things need to be updated like if you guys looked here's a perfect example counter-strike global offensive that great game years ago was made it's still going strong because well the game is really freaking fun let's just say that um but the other thing is that i mean they did have that camel that kind of gambling aspect to it which is cool and all but they also had that aspect um where when did they do it was it a month ago a few months ago i can't remember but they 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 release updates always and they always they're not afraid to change things up and recently they updated the game completely they revamped it like they revamped the menus the, the there's different modes like all this they completely revamped it and it looks like a new game like people love it again like it's they even added a, a battle royale mode for for god's sake uh, which I haven't tried personally, but anyways, like that's what I'm talking about they, they even update every once in a while like the character models like it's crazy like if Bullet Force did that if they updated the character models if they somehow up the graphics if they if they uh, You know fix the menus if they change the content they weren't shy about it They they, they added more maps they put more resources on maps and fixing bugs and stuff and and um, And just all the stuff I listed here if they did that this game would still be thriving and I'd be way more invested into it. But guys, as we're getting near this end of the uh we're nearing the end of this video. God, I've been talking for so much today. Um I am getting close to getting all the clips I need for my last montage. It's been absolutely a blast. If you guys watched my first ever montage, Genesis, and you watch what the game is now, it's crazy how much it's jumped. Um but as soon as I get enough clips for this montage, it's I think that's I think that's gonna be it, man. Unless I'm convinced otherwise, I think that's gonna be it for me personally for this game. Um, I mean, it's, I'm gonna finish the the montage, and either that or the video after that is gonna be my farewell to this game. It's been a good run. Uh, I've had fun working on it, working with Lucas, uh, working at the team at the time. Uh, it was great fun. But uh, that's really what I have to say about this game, guys. In summary from B Nate's Gamer. Poorly designed menus need reworked. Bad maps need patched or reworked. Spawn trapping and head glitching need fixed. New weapons could have waited and other weapons be balanced. Servers and lag need fixed. Perks need fixed and reworked and we could use new kill streaks. Devs need to listen to the community and produce more content. Lastly, he is quitting Bullet Force until it gets fixed. <laughs> Alright Kinesi. Let's do this. Yo YouTube, what is poppin'? It's your boy Kinesi Mobile here guys. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at my wish list for what I want to see in Bullet Force in the next year or so guys. I know that a lot of this stuff is probably not gonna happen, but hopefully some developers are gonna be watching this video and they're gonna decide that some of this stuff is actually really good information and will improve their game drastically. So guys, without further ado, let's just get straight into my recommendations for what I think Bullet Force should do in the next year or so. So guys, this is going to be part one of um, a few um, videos that I'm going to make on this topic. In this, um, in this individual video, I'm going to be talking predominantly, in fact, specifically, I'm going to be talking about maps. Map changes, um, new maps, all that stuff, guys, because I really think that for Bullet Force... A huge aspect of the appeal of the game is definitely maps, and there's some certain things that really need to be removed, added, and changed for in the maps that I think will really just help Bullet Force bloom once more. Um, firstly, guys, I just want to say I'm not going to say I really want a heap of new maps because, like, honestly, there's a there's a really good amount of maps in the game. Um, there's no such thing as too many maps. But I really, really think the Bullet Force should focus on the maps that it's already got and just making sure that they're mastered and, like, ironing them out as much as possible. So, guys, now, 
I want to show some clips of little like spots in certain maps that I think need to be changed. So let's just get straight into those. So guys, first of all, is this spot on park. Um, to be honest, this is not one of the worst ones. It's just kind of annoying. Like, to be honest, this is... I guess it takes a while to get up. And once someone's updated, you can sort of save them. But it's not a balanced spot in the game. Like, it's just a huge camping spot for a lot of um, people to go. And yes, it does take a while to actually perfect getting up. But once you do, like, you basically set up for the whole game. You can just set up there, pick people off. That they've got no clue where you are. You can save the entire half of the map that you're on. Which I think is just a little bit OP for a spot. In a map this wide open. There's so little cover. Unless you're inside that building or you're on the other side of it. You just can't get away from the people who are up on this rock. Now, guys, this next one is actually in the map Zen. I don't know if this is a glitch, but basically, guys, you can just get up onto this ledge, any ledge, basically. It looks like this and just sit up here. It's sort of a bit glitchy. It's sort of annoying. It's not a big deal, but, like, I would like to see this being removed. So, one, guys, that you're an outpost. Um, this one, basically, once you get onto that metal thing, you can see the entire half of the map, guys. This is a ridiculously annoying one for some hardscoper watching the spawns. It's just really, really annoying. And it's a huge ass rage quit, to be honest. Guys, this is like a two-in-one glitch. Firstly, I think you should not be able to do this double jumping mechanic, which I've just done. You can rewatch really that if you want to, but you can basically double jump if you're not touching the ground in bullet force. Um, also, I don't think you should be able to get up into this little spot, because on, it's basically unbalanced, because on the other side of the map, you can't actually get up onto this other spot, which means maybe while rushing this side, one of them you don't know how to get up like that. Uh, this next one is actually huge, and a lot of people have said this. I didn't actually just get all this information for myself. I actually went in the public lobbies and asked people, and this is one of the most requested to be changed. Basically, there's this glitch where when you jump up on these crates, you can just see through to the enemy spawn, and you can see everyone in there. But when you go to the other side, you can't see the person up there. So, unless you're jumping up on this crate behind me like this, you can't actually see the person peeking over. And which means you're just going to get shredded as you're coming out of the spawn. This is really annoying for new players, especially if you don't know about this glitch and don't avoid this side of the exit of the spawn. Similarly, this one is a, a popular demand. Um, a lot of people want this to be removed the waterfall glitch where you can go inside the waterfall. People on the outside can hardly see you basically camouflage. You can see them crystal clear. Guys, this one, I'm, not sure, I'm not too sure if it's a glitch, but like, you can basically dive onto this like, random thing, and I think this is super annoying. Um, like someone will be just sitting there with a 7 now every time I peek at that corner, I have to actually um, just watch the top to see if there's anyone there. Um, yeah, guys, the next one, I'm not too sure if it can get changed or not. Those ones that I've said are all things that definitely can be fixed, but this next one is actually really pretty hard to fix because you're going to have to like, replace a heap of stuff in the map, and I'm not too sure if it's actually going to get fixed or not. So, guys, this one's actually really urban, and it's a head glitch underneath the rand of the, um, the crates, guys. I just want to say thank you to Charboy, who helps me in the next clip. Um, Basically, guys, you can sit under here, and I'm in spectator mode right now. You can go up. If, you, if you're coming out the other side, you can not see this guy at all, and he can just pick you off in an instant. Like, it's ridiculously OP, and this is something that I would really, really love to see get changed, and it's not just me. Almost everyone would love to see this getting removed from the game. So, guys, I'm not going to really expect all of them, or, in fact, I'm not really going to expect any of them to get changed, guys, because, obviously, it takes a lot of work for the developers to change this other, just a small part of the map, and... A lot of the times, I'm not sure if it's really worth the hassle, but I definitely think all of those improvements will really help players get into Bullet Force, and it will help new players not rage quit the game, which is quite a common thing. Because, at least in my opinion, I think that a lot of... Uh, I think that maps are quite a big deal when it comes to new players, especially. I think that new players come to Bullet Force, they'll get into a match... And they'll get head glitched and think, oh, he's a hacker. And then just quit the game because they just don't want to, you know, have any part of, like, that sort of game. They don't really... But that, I think gratification of a game really comes... Uh, an FPS online game, at the start, first things first, if you do well, you're going to enjoy it. If you do poorly, you're not going to enjoy it. Um, I think that is a thing that is really going to be... A, is a key point for games like Bullet Force. I think that new players, if they do poorly, they will leave the game, like, very, very soon. And I think old players, if they do poorly, are more likely to stay and just think, oh, I just had a bad game. But I, I really do think that a new player is very, very likely to just leave the game if they do poorly because gratification in new games is... A huge thing especially in FPS games and especially with mobile players which are predominantly younger kids um which is to be honest it's a harder it's a harder like peop like group of people to really like advertise your stuff to especially a game like Bullet Force which is an FPS game with like it's quite graphic um it's hard to like advertise it to kids and if they get into a match and just get wrecked by a bunch of people who are experienced at the game they're not gonna really um just stay, stick with bullet force for a long time and fact, it's likely they'll delete the game almost instantly this theory that i've got of gratification in a special especially shooter games is definitely like it's definitely there like if you get a win in fortnite you're not just going to leave and not play another game like no one no one has a win in fortnite and then doesn't play another game if you play well you're going to want to play again it's like in life, if you do something well, you're going to want, you enjoy doing it, like, I enjoy playing Bullet Force because I think I'm good at it, I think that a lot of people get into the game and they decide that they're not good at it, then they don't want to play the game again, it's, it's, it's simple, like, mental stuff, if you don't enjoy playing the game, it's going to be mainly because you're not good at it, and you're not enjoying your time because you're getting wrecked, 
That's why I think that these map changes are going to be super helpful if they're actually implemented. Um, because they're going to make the game more fair for newer players who don't know the map as well. And yeah, guys, so that's basically going to wrap it up for part one of my wish list for Bullet Force in 2019. Be sure to like and subscribe. Now it's going to be Kinesi Mobile signing out. Yo YouTube, what's poppin', it's your boy Kinesia Mobile here guys. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at my part two of the wish list for 2019 Bullet Force. Um, so guys, I just wanna say, uh, Marf Gaming posted this first, um, and then I posted my first one, my part one, where I talked about the maps, map changes I wanna see. Um, but in this video, I'm only talking about guns. So there's gonna be gun changes, but also since this game is growing, I'm gonna include a couple of um like guns that could be a good addition to the lineup that Bullet Force currently has. Um, so yeah, guys, straight, stay tuned. Cause this video. Uh, yeah, guys, let's just get straight into it with the nerf in the in this year. Okay, guys, so the first one's gonna be the Badger Q, guys. This is a suppressed um assault rifle. Uh, it is a gold exclusive. It's been recently released in a new update, in the latest update. Um, it is OP. It's widely known as one of the best guns in the game currently, and it's the, the one of the only, um, I think it is the only a gold exclusive weapon that's going to be in the primary section here. Um, usually the gold exclusive guns are pretty balanced. They used to be not so much, but now they are very balanced. But the Badger is an exception. The Badger needs to be nerfed. The range is ridiculous. Um, the rate of fire is really, really good. Pit fire is good as well. Something needs to be changed. I think it's going to be the, um, the range or the, like, something like that. But something will get changed with this gun, hopefully. Hey guys, the next ones are going to be the Dart and the HE, the M320 Dart and the M320 HE. These guys are like brothers. Um, one of them is a rocket launcher, one of them is a shotgun. Um, I think the Dart and the HE should be removed from the game, to be honest. A lot of people have said that to me. I think it's true, but I know it probably won't happen. If they're just going to nerf, I think the Dart's range really needs to get nerfed. It's, it's basically a sniper rifle, but it's a shotgun as well. Like, I don't know what's happening here. It's just an absolutely overpowered weapon. People will just sit in, like, a building and just hit you from the other side of the map with the Dart and just be like, what the hell? Because it's just ridiculously OP. Um, the range is so good. The, the spread is like a shotgun. I think the developers need to do something about this gun. It's sort of OP. In fact, it's not sort of OP. It is OP. And everyone, a lot of people use it, especially new players, and it's really, really getting on my nerves, to be honest. Anyway, hopefully that gun gets changed. But now I'll move on to its brother, the M320 HE. So guys, the HE is basically the same, except it is a rocket launcher, a mini RPG. I think this is OP. I think it needs to be nerfed. I think having one RPG in the game, to be honest, is perfectly fine. And the RPG itself is actually balanced. It's not actually going to be on the list. I think that the, the M320 HE is not balanced. I think it needs to be removed. And yeah, that's just my opinion though, guys. You can leave yours down below in the comments. Let's move on to the next weapon. Okay, guys. So the AK-12 is obviously going to be on this list for a nerf. It needs a nerf badly. It is... A three hit kill at any range, it makes sniping incredibly difficult because when it hits you, you move around. Like, it's like this and the L85 makes sniping impossible. Um, like, really, like, really, really difficult, guys. So, the AK 12, I think, needs a, a big nerf on its either its range or its damage, or it needs way more recoil or a way slower fire rate, something like that. I don't know what's gonna happen. Obviously, this gun is not gonna be removed, but I think that something needs to happen to this gun to make it way more balanced and not so much of an overpowered just beast that it is right now. All I can say, guys, is use it while it's good because I think this will be getting nerfed in either the next update or the one after. Um, so yeah, guys, that's just my opinion on the AK 12. Let's move on to the 870 MCS. So guys, the 870 MCS is a pump action shotgun. To be honest, both of the shotguns, this and the Sega, are on the list um, for different reasons though. The 870 is balanced, but it is abused in my opinion. I feel like people, this is the most campy weapon that you can use in the game, except for maybe the M320 HE. This weapon, you can just sit in the corner. It's a one shot at, for a decent range as well. So you can just sit in a corner, like on Outpost. I rush the building that I'm, that I'm like pushing and some kid sitting at the top of the stairwell with the 870 MCS and just one pumps me to the face. It's kind of annoying. In fact, it's very annoying. Hopefully it gets nerfed. I don't know if it will. I don't think it's going to get removed, um, but, you know, hopefully something happens with it to make it more fair and less annoying, guys. Let's move on to the next weapon. So, as much as it pains me to say it, because this is one of my favourite guns in the game right now, the AUG needs a nerf. It is OP, guys. The range is ridiculous. It's like an AK. It's basically like an AK-12. Slightly less damage, slightly more fire rate. It's absolutely overpowered guys in scrims this is banned mostly but teams that allow it just use it all day long it's op it's it's just that it is annoying to play against but to be honest i feel like i abuse it a bit as well um so yeah guys the org does need like a bit of a nerf whether it be range or whatever i don't know just i think it does need a nerf let's move on to the next weapon so guys this is gonna be the sega the sega is the other shotgun that i was talking about in my opinion this is slightly less annoying a lot of people say this is way more wor way worse than the a70 but to me i think all this needs is a slight reduction in the one hit kill range because i think that the one hit kill range is way too long for a semi-auto shotgun to be able to kill someone like 10 meters away. I think it needs to be more like 5 meters. I don't know, but I just think that the one hit kill range is a bit long. If that gets changed, then this gun will actually be balanced, to be honest, and it'll be fair to play against. 
Guys, the last gun that I'm going to be putting on this overpowered list is going to be the L85. This is the most expensive gun in the game. Um, it is a machine. It makes it impossible to snipe, guys. This is like a three-hit kill again at long range, uh, but it's got a bit faster fire rate than the AK. Um, but it, the thing doesn't have the same headshot multipliers that the AK-12 does, which makes it not as good for those close-range engagements. But at long range, this is the best gun in the game other than snipers. And you know what? It honestly can compete with people who are not a great sniper will, ch will be challenged by someone who's decent with the L85. Like, they'll, they'll lose in a sniping battle in long range to someone with the L85 because this thing's range is ridiculous. The magazine size is good. The, everything about this gun is just OP, guys. It needs to be nerfed. I don't know what's going to happen, but obviously something is going to happen because it's just way too OP, and a lot of people are saying that. So guys, that's it for the overpowered weapons. I'm now going to move on to the weapons that I think need a bit of a buff in, you know, the next year or so. Um, again, I just want to say, like, the, this, these, gu these guns are never, there's never going to be full balance between every gun. There's always going to be good guns and bad guns. This, this list is just so you guys can know the guns that I think really, really are just at that stage where they're just too OP. Um, but I understand that a lot of these changes will not happen anytime soon. I know that there's, like, other things which are bigger, like, things for Bullet Force to be doing and stuff like that. So hopefully, uh, we can, we can see a couple of those, uh, nerfs happen very soon. So guys, the first gun that I think needs a buff is a gold exclusive weapon, guys. It's the M16. I think this is the worst gold exclusive weapon, except for one other one which is on this list. I think that the M16, the fact you can't put a scope on it makes it, like, obviously a disadvantage. I think this is just the worst. I don't know why I'd buy this at the start of the game when you can just use the M4A1. It's just a better version. They've got basically the same amount of damage, recoil, and, uh, range, except the M4A1, you can put a scope on it, and this thing you can't. Um, other than the fact this thing sounds really, really nice and looks super duper cool, there's nothing really, uh, like, you know, there's nothing really to get to about this gun. It's just, you know, it's not that good. It doesn't have any, like, special capabilities. It's not that, like, it's not it's not really competitive at all in any kind of fight. I think this needs a bit of a buff. Um, I think damage f um, per bullet is the way to go for a buff with this. But, yeah, guys, let's move on to the next weapon, which is actually going to be another gold exclusive, the CSLR 4. So guys, CSLR 4 is the only sniper that I think I'm going to talk about today. Snipers are in a really good place in Bullet Force right now, but the CSLR 4 is hella not. It is basically a one-shot kill headshot, or... It's, it does like 89 damage to the body, which means it's not a one-hit kill, which means it is outclassed, in my opinion, by every other sniper in the game because it doesn't have the one-hit kill capability. And the fire rate is good, but it's meh. Like, it's the same as the Barrett, honestly, but the Barrett is a one-hit kill, which means this has got no reason to be used. It is underpowered so far, it's not even funny. I'm honestly going to say, in bullet force, there's no point to have a gun which, uh, sniper which isn't a one-hit kill. This gun could honestly be removed, and it wouldn't change anything in the game whatsoever. It's just really, really in a bad place right now, and I don't have any suggestions of how they're going to get it out, to be honest. Anyway, let's move on to the MP40. So, guys, the MP40 is sort of like the M16. It's got... Really, really nice looks. It sounds really, really nice. It, it's really classic gun and all that, but it's just disgustingly bad right now. Other than the hip fire, which is always going to be good, it's the one thing that this gun has got going for it. Everything else is bad. The, the rate of fire is just so slow. It's like a, it's like a snail going along. The, the damage is decent, but it's not high enough to counter the rate of fire. It's The damage is like the same per bullet as like a, like a fad, but the, like the rate of fire... It's like the Sega. It's like almost the same. I don't know how, I don't know how slow it is, but it is bloody slow. It's probably the slowest automatic gun in the game. Um, but yeah, guys, so that is my opinion on the MP40. I think that it's pretty simple to get a buff. I reckon either just change their rate of fire to be a little bit higher or just uh, buff the damage to be like the AK-47 or something like that because right now it's just not balanced whatsoever. But I think they will buff this very, very soon. Let's get into the next weapon. So guys, the next gun is going to be the Lewis gun. Now, what can I say? The Lewis gun is the only gun in the game which I've got a legendary skin for. But other than that, there is no reason for you need to use it whatsoever. It is slow fire rate. Right? It's one of the slowest fire rate guns in the game, once again, sort of like the MP40, but it has no it has no scope attachment, so you can't put anything on. The iron sights are probably the worst in the game. Um, it's just, it doesn't have that good of range, and the magazine size is good, but it's an LMG. Like, the other LMGs have got 100 bullets in the magazine. This thing's got, like, 50 or something, which is good, but it's not an LMG good. Um, I know it's supposed to be, like, a World War II gun, but, like, the rate of fire is just way too slow for how good the, for like how good the damage is and all that. So, I think this gun needs to be um, buffed. I think a rate of fire buff would be plenty, but hopefully something does get changed and this gun does get a bit of a buff. So guys, the only pistol which I would say is underpowered currently in Bullet Force is the M1911. This has been underpowered pretty much since it came into the game, to be honest. I love the M1911. It looks good, sounds good, feels good, but the damage just isn't there. The range isn't there. Again, like a lot of these guns, you can't put a scope on it. I think that is one of the issues with like guns in like the bad guns. A lot of them, the issue is that you can't put an attachment scope on it. But I think also this thing's got a huge issue with the fact that it's basically a deagle, but it's an extra bullet to kill someone. Um, it doesn't have one hit headshot. So yeah, guys, I think this needs a bit of a buff. Hopefully that does happen soon. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for all of the buffs and nerfs that I think need to happen in Bullet Force. Um, now, guys, I want to talk about new guns being added to the game. So, first of all, I'm going to just put it out there and say that I think Bullet Force has got an abundance of guns right now, and it's kind of hard to figure out more guns that would fit into, a, into this kind of genre. Um, it's not like a game like Fortnite where you can just put in any gun and it sort of be alright because it's a, like, not, a, not, not like realistic. Bullet Force is a realistic shooter. It needs to have like real guns. But I think that a primary weapon that could possibly go into this game, and this is going to be the only one that I'm going to recommend, is a burst fire weapon. That's all this game is really missing. Um, when I saw the M16, I thought that was going to be a burst weapon because in most games, the M16 is a burst weapon, but it's not. Um, I think that a burst weapon in Bullet Force would really, really help it out. I know, obviously, there is burst weapons in a lot of other shooter games, but I think that some sort of burst weapon in Bullet Force really, like, you know, 
just be nice for a bit of a change up sometimes when you don't want to go fully auto with an AR or semi-automatic. Um, so yeah, guys, definitely um, keep that in mind. That I think a bu uh, bullet force might bring in a new uh, free round burst or even like like just a burst weapon in general will be coming out soon, I'd say, because that's the only gun that I think could fit into the game that they don't really have. Anyway, guys, that's going to be pretty much it, wrapping up the video now. Um, that's just my, like, things I want to say about the guns in Bullet Force. That's the buffs, the nerfs, and the one new gun that I've got to suggest. Um, but yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully there's going to be a couple of devs or something watching this that can understand where I'm coming from with these buffs and nerfs, which I think are the most important thing. And um, hopefully some of these do get changed. Be sure to like and subscribe. Now it's going to be Kinesi Mobile, signing out. Yo YouTube, what is poppin'? It's your boy Kinezim Ola here guys. In today's video, we're gonna be doing the third installment of the wishlist series for Bullet Force, guys. So, um, as you probably are aware, I've been doing a couple of I've been doing I've had two wishlist uploads, guys. Basically in them I've talked about things I want changed in Bullet Force. Um already I've had developers talk to me about different things that I've mentioned in them and like things they can change, things they can't, all that. A lot of the map changes are definitely gonna be possible, guys. The gun buffs and nerfs obviously are possible, they'll just take a little bit more time, but Guys, in this update, I'm going to be talking about the uh, like some different things, like bugs in the game sort of thing, and hackers. Um, so guys, first of all, I want to touch on bugs in the game. Um, there's a the, the main bug which I've got to to just to, to say about today is going to be the bug where you go into a game and it kicks you straight out. If you are also, have, you guys have also like noticed that bug when you join a game and it kicks you out instantly, leave a like. Now let's get into the. The, the ins and outs of the bugs in Bullet Force. So, obviously, there is that one. I think that one is more... It's apparently there's, like, more chance of it happening when you play Outpost over any other map. Um, but other than that, I'm pretty sure there's a low chance of it happening, happening in other games. Um, the next little glitch that I've got is sometimes when you go into a game and you can't, like, deploy, or you stay in a game... Um, for a while, and then you die, and then you can't redeploy. Or when you're in a game, the, it cha the lobby changes maps, so it's the end of the game. It's the start of a new game. You're in the same lobby, but it changes maps, or the new game starts, and you can't redeploy for some reason. You have to delete. You have to leave, and then come back on. Hopefully, no one's joined the lobby, filled it up, so then you can't get back in. It's kind of annoying. But yeah, guys, that is a pretty that's a pretty annoying one in my opinion. Just along with the um getting kicked out of the match. Um, then guys, the next like little glitch that I've got is gonna be the basically it seems it looks like someone's invisible when they're like playing sometimes like so they'll be like flashing on the screen they'll be so they'll be like it'll be like a regular player playing the game but and they won't know it's just gonna be a, a it's more like a lag issue and it looks like they're invisibility hacking but they're actually not they're just lagging uh, i've noticed this quite a bit especially in the darker areas on maps uh, i don't know if that's got anything to do with it i've just noticed it a lot like in in prison in the darker areas and also in the darker areas of woods i've noticed it quite a bit as well um so that's that glitch guys now i want to talk about hackers so guys basically hackers currently in bullet force it's it's pretty easy to get your hands on hacks i've done some research um it's very very easy to hack on ios i'm not android i'm on ios not android but i'm i'm sure that it's going to be just as easy on android to get your hands on hacks as it always is in almost any game in fact ios usually has got more struggle than android but in bullet force ios seems to be just as easy you download a couple of apps and boom you've got radar and infinite and ammo and i'm aware that a lot of players use these kind of hacks i've been talking to a couple of developers about the hacks that are being used currently in bullet force and hacker prevention and to be honest i feel like they need to step up their game i feel like the fact that there is hacker prevention in the game that the players have to do themselves isn't really good enough because like when someone's using radar you can't really tell like the infinite ammo if they abuse it you can sort of tell if they're like spamming out an rpg or something but like if someone's using radar hacks, you've got no clue unless they get reported. And honestly, in most games, there's not going to be someone who's a member of the Discord who can actually report someone properly, and they're going to end up getting away with it. And and then there's the, the biggest issue, which is in competitive play, people using hacks. And I know this happens. I know people often call out hacks on different people, and a lot of the time they're not hacking. But you know what? They should never be hacking. There should never be a time when there's a person hacking in competitive play. In fact, there should be almost never a time where someone's hacking in the game full stop. It's ridiculous that a game like this, which takes skill but is easy to play is you know people have got people are hacking in it but i think they can do more to prevent hacking um in bullet force i think they can add software that makes it impossible to hack anyway guys that's gonna be pretty much it for this video hopefully you've enjoyed it be sure to drop a like now it's gonna be kinesi mobile signing out
Yo YouTube, what is poppin'? It's your boy Kinez Roller here guys and I'm back at it again with yet another video. Guys, this is going to be the fourth installment of my Bullet Force wishlist. Yep, I know there's a lot of stuff that I want from Bullet Force but I think that nothing that I'm asking in these videos is unheard of and nothing here, there's like nothing big here that I'm saying that's not like gonna be helping the game. Um, so guys, the first video I talked about map changes um, the second video I talked about gun balancing and also a couple of new guns that I want to see added to the game. And then in the third video, which is my most recent one, I talked about bugs and hackers. Um, I think that the three that I've talked about so far have not really been suggestions. They've more been things that Bullet Force needs to do. They're more like mandatory things that a game developer or a game developing group needs to do to their game to make it, you know... A balanced playable game which people actually enjoy because the things that I've said so far are game breakers they're the reasons that people leave the game like glitches and stuff they're the reason that people go oh no bullet force is a broken game oh no there's a weapon that's too OP bullet force is a broken game because I think that the player base is decreasing I, I'm not certain but I'm pretty sure and I'm also pretty sure that once COD Mobile comes out bullet force is going to struggle so First of all, I think that Bullet Force should spice things up a bit. Maybe change the homepage. Because I've been playing Bullet Force for two years. And the homepage has been the same the entire time. Um, the music as well. Maybe change up the music. You know, change up some stuff. Maybe have s some replayables. So some things that are in the game that make the game actually, like, like they want you to grind. Like, I grind a bullet force because I'm a, I'm a competitive player. I want to improve. Uh, and, you know, getting the guns is a really, really tough grind. Like, they take ages. I didn't even get all the guns on my own. Someone gave me a heap of credit so that I could get all the guns. But, like, there needs to be gr a grind that's easier than getting all the guns. Like, something, a grind within a grind sort of thing. I'd say, like Call of Duty, Bullet Force needs to introduce unlockable skins. So, whether it be headshot camos, whether it be challenge camos, like, in Call of Duty, it's mainly headshots, but, like... Bullet Force could do anything. They could say you get a certain amount of kills with a gun, you get a camo for it. They could have like a list of camos. I know it would take a while, but to be honest, I don't feel like camos are that difficult to make in a game like Bullet Force where they've got an entire team working on the game. Um, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure that that would bring so many more players to play more frequently, get back on the grind. People haven't played the game for a while, see if there's a new update. They update the game, and they go, oh, let's have a look at this, and there's a heap of new skins they can be unlocking for their guns, and they go, oh, cool, no longer have to pay real money for my skins. Um, I think that'll be good. People will still be paying money for cases, because the skins, they're not going to be able to get all the good skins in the game. Maybe make the case skins a little, the nicer ones, and the ones you get for free, the not as nice ones. But, you know, I think things like that would be a really good thing for the game. And the next thing I want to talk about is maybe some new attachment sort of things. Because right now, gun customization, at least for me, isn't really that crash hot. Like, right now, I use the I use the Coyote site. No, not the Coyote. Yeah, the Coyote site, the one that I'm using currently in the gameplay. I use that on every gun. I don't use a, mu I use a muzzle brake occasionally, and then I never use a suppressor. I don't use a laser ever, and that's it. That's always going to be how my gun set up. Coyote site... Maybe a muzzle brake, maybe not, and then no suppressor, and a laser sight. If I'm using, I, if I'm not playing a scrim, I might use a laser sight. Um, but that's about that's about it. There's no real customization. All the customization comes from the perks. I feel like the perks are really really balanced right now in Bullet Force, so I don't think they should be changed at all. Um, but I do think that you know, maybe a couple of extra attachments could be added, like. I don't know, maybe like a grip or something, like an underbarrel attachment, like, so you could use a grip, or you could use quick draw, or you could use something like that, maybe you could, you could re remove the quick draw perk, and add a quick draw as an attachment, 
Um, but, you know, I think that that sort of thing is something that could bring more replayability to Bullet Force, make it, you know, just more, just spice things up, as I've, as I've been saying, just make it new, make it not stale, not old, because right now, for me at least, Bullet Force is feeling a bit stale, every second person is running around with the AK-12 and the M320HE, which, by the way, I feel like should be removed from the game. Yo YouTube, what is popping? It's your boy Kinezema well here guys. In today's video, I've got probably what's going to be my last of my Bullet Force wishlists videos, at least for a while, at least until maybe, you know, at least for like six months or so. This will be the last of my Bullet Force wishlist videos, pretty much guys. So I've, this will be my, my fifth one. In the first one, I looked at maps, map changes and all that. Um, second one, I looked at gun balancing and a couple of new gun suggestions. Uh, in the third one, I looked at basically like hacker prevention and all that stuff. So basically, those change those those three were basically changing things in the game to make the game more playable and less buggy and stuff. And then in the fourth one, I spoke about things that I'd like added to the game. That well, that was more of like an add-on. That they those are not really as important, but they're just things that I think will help people, you know, play the game for a bit longer. Guys, in this one, I'm actually going to talk about. The, the things that the community has said, not me, but what the actual, what I've, I've asked a lot of people. I go into regular public matches and I say, what do you guys want to be changed in the game? This is what they've all said. Basically, a lot of people have said they want the M23 HE and M23 Dart removed. I don't know if that's possible, but a lot of people have requested it. A lot of people have said that they they want gun gun balances, which I've already mentioned. A lot of people have said they want a friend system, so basically they can see their friends in game, like when they're playing, uh, they can join their friends' lobbies, all that kind of stuff. And I've actually thought about this, and to be honest, I don't think this would be too hard. There's a lot of guns which have got this. I remember I used to play a game called Shadow Gun Dead Zone. And there was this, um, like, way you could play with your friends. You could see when they were online. It was so good because you never had to, like, join, try and join the same lobby or whatever. You could just join, like, you could just join your friend's party and you'd just be in his, you just join his lobby instantly. And if you if you see a friend that, that you like, that you play with, bullet force with, if you see a friend online, you can just join their game instantly unless it's full. I think that's a really good idea. And I really think the devs should take that into consideration because unlike gun balancing and removing guns, it's not going to be, there's no negative possibility to add a friend system other than it costs a bit of time for the developers when they could be focusing on other stuff. Other than that, people have been saying stuff like bug fixes and that, but I know the devs are working on that. Um, so yeah guys, that's pretty much going to be most of the stuff that they've talked about that I think is realistic. Some of the other stuff which I think could take a little bit more time, people want new maps. A lot of people say the graphics are not as nice as other games like Critical Ops and stuff, and even like Forward Assault, which is not the game by um, Blazy Games, which is the developer of Bullet Force. A lot of people have said that they like the graphics of Ford Assault and Critical Ops a lot nicer. That they think they look way cleaner than Ball Force, which is understandable. Like, some of the maps, some of the older maps look a little bit dated. Like, I, I, for me, especially, Outpost looks pretty garbage. But other than that, like, I don't know, it's a mobile game, you guys have to remember, so it's not going to look like Call of Duty Black Ops 4. But you have to, like... I guess it's just something that they've requested. I'm just putting everything that people have said into this video. Another thing that's been said a little bit, but not too much, is people want to see um more like esports stuff being organised, and that that that's people have said that I've not been people in game. That's been people DMing me on Discord and stuff. Um, yeah. Also, there's a glitch that happens, which I think this is definitely easy, easy to fix. There's a glitch which happens sometimes when you spawn and you take a bit of damage. Um, 
I've actually, it's happened to me quite a lot, it's really annoying, especially in scrims when even like one death can mean like a whole game, and yeah. YouTube, what is poppin'? It's your boy Kinesira, all of you guys. And uh, today's video is gonna be a little bit different to some of my other videos. So, um, if you've been following my channel for a long time, you will know that uh, I've been playing um, a game called Bullet Force um, for pretty much the entirety of my channel's like lifespan. I've been playing Bullet Force since it first came out, but I've like I obviously played it a, like only a little bit for a certain amount of time then I kind of got more into the game I Decided I set up a YouTube channel my YouTube channel for bullet force right now I feel like the amount of content that I've got on my channel is I've pretty much touched on every topic So if you guys are looking for like educational stuff like that Just go ahead and look on my channel. There is literally hundreds of uploads all that are education based none of them are just gameplay with footage they're all proper videos which are like got me talking teaching you guys how to play better and all that kind of stuff but yeah pretty much things that i've touched on every single topic there is to in bullet force and to be honest the uh, there's a new game coming out um, very soon, Call of Duty Legends of War, um, which is going to be a mobile game, um, so I'm pretty sure, I'm not certain, but I'm pretty certain that right as of now, Bullet Force is going down in popularity severely, I'm, I'm certain of this, and I'm pretty sure that when, once Call of Duty Mobile comes out, that's going to be a huge success, and I'm kind of going to move my channel over to more towards that and less bullet force. Um, I might still post some bullet force videos, but it will be like other other content creators that only post, you know, a small amount of, bu of bullet force and, you know, other games. So I'm only gonna be focusing on the two, on, on Call of Duty Mobile and maybe a little bit of bullet force. There's not gonna be any other games coming into it, only those two. But um, yeah, guys, just wanna make sure you all know that once that game does come out, Bullet Force uploads, you're going to take a bit of a back seat to Call of Duty Mobile. <laughs> it's your turn, Marf Gaming. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Marf, and welcome back to another Bullet Force video. So now, here's what I would love to see in 2019 for Bullet Force. First of all, I'd love to see some server improvements, things like hit registration and lag improvements. You know, every time you run into a person who's just a complete bullet sponge, I think you guys know what I mean when you play Bullet Force. Next up, I wanted to talk about a new game mode that I would love to see added to Bullet Force called Rush. I've explained this game mode in other videos, but basically one team attacks two bombsite-like objectives and the other team defends. The attacking team has a limited amount of respawns, but both teams can arm and defuse the objective as many times as they need. So once both objectives are destroyed, the attacking team wins. However, if the attacking team runs out of respawns, the defending team will win. I think some maps like City and especially Aftermath could be easily adapted to this game mode without needing any big map changes, and I think this would be a great game mode for a game like Bullet Force. Next, I would love to see some more unique weapons added to Bullet Force. We got a ton of new weapons in 2018, but honestly, I think most of them were very common in other FPS games and in media. And I think there are some weapons out there that could be added to Bullet Force that are super unique and cool. One of them is the Thor single shot pistol. It's basically like a mini sniper rifle that only has one round that you have to manually load every time you shoot. It's super cool and you can see it on screen now. It's only present in actually one other game that I know which is Contract Wars and I'd love to see guns like this added to Bullet Force. And uh, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you guys think.
Lastly, I think we need a new ACOG sight and possibly some other new higher zoom optics. The ACOG sight frankly looks a bit dated and clunky, and I think the only other magnification optic we have is the sniper scope, and I'd love to see some more high magnification optics, possibly like a three times, maybe even a six times, stuff like that I think would be really, really cool and just add a bit more customization to the game. And uh, yeah, obviously it's nice to see more camos and all that kind of stuff, but I think we would love some more weapon attachments. I think that'd be really, really neat. Shots fired! Shots fired! Go Glock Fox. As much as I hate to say it, Bullet Force is pretty much dead by now, and I need to find some other source of content fast, which is not easy for people like me when you have a lot of things going on in your life. So, yeah, but I decided to make a video, I guess, to like analyze what exactly happened to Bullet Force and why it's dead now. Bullet Force is a game that came out around December the tw uh, 26, 2016, at least for iOS. However, when it was first in production, it was basically supposed to be the mobile version of Battlefield, I'm guessing in um, Lucas Wallady's head, the creator of the game. It was supposed to have way huger maps, you know, there was supposed to be vehicles, all of that, but I guess they knew that some phones just wouldn't be able to handle all that space, so they ended up removing some of that stuff and shorting the maps and even taking away some of the skins as a result. I remember what the first time I played this game and Jesus Christ, did I have a good time? I remember the first time I was playing, I, I didn't even go online first. I wanted to save that for later. I was just playing with the bots and oh my God, I had so much fun. And I remember online, it, it was just great. Everything was fair. I, I just started playing. I was a guest yet. I was still able to get some kills in. Everything was fair. I don't really remember any um, OP weapons back then, you know? So, you know, it was all good. I just had a blast doing it and like, dude, seriously, it was like a, a game changer for me. It really was. I had never seen a game so good with such nice mechanics, something so close to a console game. It was amazing. The graphics, the, the everything. It was just perfect. But unfortunately, I guess not everything can stay perfect forever. And this game was a perfect example of that. Why is that, you ask? Um, well, we'll go into that. I'm sorry, I'm just realizing how trash this video actually is. Now, I know this is going to sound super hypocritical for me, being that I'm an MP5 and a vector noob. Not only that, but, you know, the weapons that you buy are pretty OP. I mean, if you compare the MP5 to an M4A1, you know, the, it, the MP5, it makes the M4A1 look pretty trash, which is one of the reasons why the MA41 is the new weapon. But I think gold exclusives, I can definitely say, are one of the major downfalls of this game. One of the reasons is, if you really think about it, gold exclusives weapons, all of them are at default 1,000 uh, gold coins. If you want to buy 1,000 gold coins, you have to pay $10 for that. So you're essentially getting one fictional weapon and then two fictional skins on a mobile game and you're not getting multiple weapons you're getting one weapon unless they like have a deal or something like what the the deal they did on the brt where if you buy that you know you get some skins and 200 gold so um yeah there's that and you can't just grind your way to the money because considering that five times 20 equals 100 then you're going to need 200 videos to finally get those gold coins and each of the videos usually range around 30 seconds yeah 30 seconds so you're watching 230 second videos what man has the mental capacity to watch 
200 videos straight. Now, you can't just, like, you know, maybe play it on your phone, you know, then you, like, may maybe do something and you come back and it's like, oh, well, I just watched all the videos, but I, I was doing Like, no, you have to keep pressing it over and over again. So, unless you're literally sitting right by the screen, you're going to have to keep pressing it over and over and, and, and you're going to have to keep doing it. It gets annoying. And a lot of people have said in the comment section of some videos that gold exclusives are one of the reasons uh, that, you know, the game is kind of losing that clout you know what i'm saying Hey guys, what's going on? Jackman is here and welcome back to another Top 5 Reasons video. And today's video, our Top 5 Reasons is why Bullet Force is dying and or why it's not doing as good as it used to be. Now, we're going to get straight to the points. Number 1. The game is very, very unbalanced and a lot of the weapons are very hard to get. Um, there is two ways of payment within the game. You can either use credits to buy most of the weapons, but for some of the really good ones and some of the really fan favorite ones like the Tommy Gun, you are going to have to pay 1,000 gold to in order to even get the gun. And that doesn't include any skins or anything, nope, just 1,000 gold for the gun. And um, of course, that doesn't sound like a big deal, you can grind, oh no no no, it's a big deal, you know why? Because there is no way you can earn gold without, uh, for free, really. Like, there's only one way you can earn gold, and that is by watching ads. However, in order to get enough, uh, gold, per se, to buy this gun, you are gonna need to watch about two weeks worth of ads, if at that. Each, each, uh, sitting, like, one, uh, if you watch as many ads as there is, for one day, it's, there's a limit. I'm not sure how many there is. But if you finish the limit per day, it will give you 50. So you get about 50 per day. And uh, yeah, it's going to take you forever, right? And each ad is about 30 seconds. So just think about 30 seconds of your life being wasted every minute. Now, um, what you can do to fix this is honestly, I don't really think there is because this is at this at this point, this game is literally should be called Shuriken Force, all right? Shuriken Force. Let's let's just get it hashtag hashtag Shuriken Force on Twitter. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, anyway. But the way you can fix this issue, Lucas, if you're listening, which I highly, highly doubt, the, in my personal opinion, nerf a lot of the OP crap, like the shurikens and throwing knives, those really need a nerf. And, I don't, I, like, maybe, I don't know if, how good the RPG is anymore, I don't really see anyone running it, it used to be really OP. Like, the only things that I can think of off the top of my head at the very moment in this time is the shurikens and the throwing knives really need a nerf. Literally, this game <laughs> this game has gone through evolutions of names like uh, TK Force, RPG Force, Knife Force, Shuriken Force, and the most popular one now is Shuriken Force. So, uh, yeah, Lucas. Oh, and, uh, by the way, some, this is a very kind of debate-ish thing, you, you may call it that is going around in the community saying is Bullet Force pay to win or not. Personal opinion, it kind of is and it kind of isn't. I can see where he's coming from, but you're gonna have to pay 500 gold to change your name, about 100 gold to get a skin, 1000 gold to get a gun, it's ridiculous. So please, please just get your crap together, please Lucas, oh my lord. Now the second reason why Bullet Force is dying is the mods abuse the living hell out of their power. Now personally, I have not seen it, but I have a ton of friends and quite a lot of people I've read, like I've, I've been on Twitter and I've seen so many reports of people saying that this mod kicked me for clipping him or I got banned for like just winning in a game with a mod, you know, like I've gotten... I've like seen so many tweets where um, they get ignored by the way all these tweets are ignored and not addressed by the way so that's just terrible terrible like administration but um, 
there's there's videos I've seen where people have gotten the mods have gotten clipped in a quad or like a collateral or just whatever you know something with the sniper just whatever and they the guy who was recording will get kicked instantly it's like the mods can't handle getting clipped and uh, I'm not gonna really throw any certain organization or or person under the bus for abusing power um, this actually brings up this recent event that I've heard about my friend average Marcos and his brother infinite stealth have been banned from bullet force reasons why no one knows they've been banned either by rogue mod or someone who knows a mod that is willing to ban them I'm not gonna go into full detail you can actually check out his channel or text him on discord for the entirety of the situation but the point is this rogue mod who has a back who has like a bone to pick with them has been constantly banning them. They've been unbanned a few times, I think, and they've been banned again. I remember, I read a tweet from Infinite Stealth saying, Yay, I've been unbanned, time to get on the grind, or something like that, you know, just whatever. And literally, <laughs> about an hour later, he was banned again. Like, are you serious? And it's all by this same douchebag. I have no idea who the hell it is, so I'm not going to say a name. Even if I did know, I probably wouldn't say it. But, yeah, whoever's doing this is a big douchebag. And back to the point... Yeah, it's just really really poor poor moderator. It's like they're Like I'm not saying all the mods are bad I know there's probably a ton of mods out there like bloody duck or just you know Whoever else is a good mod like I don't really know any of the other other mods so just chill, but um Yeah, so Lucas and Lucas. <laughs> the funny part is I like Lucas This is more or less a rant at the moment Lucas doesn't do anything He doesn't care that his mods are screwing his game over. He just cares about, I guess, himself? I don't know. It's like, uh, so many reports, man. So many reports. He does nothing. He doesn't demode the moderators. Even the head moderators don't demode the moderators. Nothing happens. Absolutely nothing. And now for the third reason. The game is very, very very glitchy now this is happening to me like me and me and my friend raid or x or whatever you want to call him hit link in the description if you really want to check him out he's actually the one who provided the gameplay for this video so thank you so much raid and um anyway so when i will try to go to a match i will join and then i'll press deploy it instantly kicks me or when i'm playing and the game ends you know i won or someone else won or whatever someone won and um, after it starts voting, I get instantly kicked. Or when I try to go to the server list, all the servers are gone. Or just when I'm walking, I randomly get killed. Now, I'm pretty sure Lucas is doing his best to try and fix some of these known glitches. But it's, it's just been going on for quite a while. Like, it's been going on for a few updates. Like, and the glitches just never end. I know a game... I know games will have glitches till the end of time, they'll have hackers, they'll have this, they'll have that, but there's, there's certain ones you could easily probably fix. Like, my, I, I myself am really no developer, like, I'm true, I don't know how to make a game, I don't know how to do this, I don't know how to do that, so I'm not really sure how hard it is, but it just looks like, from a player perspective, that it should be pretty easily to fix with all of Lucas's known resources at this point. He's been doing this for, what, two years or so? He's been doing it for quite a while. And now for the fourth reason. The fourth reason why Bullet Force is dying, dun dun dun, is because hackers, yes, you've heard it here, hackers are within this game now. I know it took a, it took quite a while for them to get here, but <laughs> anyway, so I myself have not seen a genuine hacker, at least I don't think I've seen a hacker. There are a few hacks that I've heard of, like um, you can get to level 100 without literally, with literally just now getting the game, you can get to level 100 with some type of ABK or whatever, and I think there's an infinite ammo one people can see on the map, you know, just the standard stuff, so... Yeah, I, I don't really know where to go on this topic because, um, of course, I haven't seen it firsthand, so I don't really have anything to complain about. Um, but the hacking is probably a pretty serious issue, so, yeah, Lucas, you better start working on the anti-anti-anti-anti- I can't speak today. 
You better start working on that anti-cheat, buddy. And now for the fifth reason why Bullet Force is dying, um, there really isn't one. It just, it's just the game isn't as fun as it used to be. It doesn't really have the feel it used to be, at least to me. It doesn't really feel like it's been fun in a while. Like, it, m my personal opinion, it isn't that fun anymore. It's just the bal the unbalancedness, the freaking road mod, and you just all this other crap. Like, of course, I haven't experienced about half the stuff on this list. I've experienced glitches and unbalancedness and unfairness. But, I don't know, I'm, just, I'm, I'm mainly going to rant on this one. It's just, it doesn't really feel like a fun game anymore. Like, I was playing with Raid, and we were playing Snipers Only, and it was, I don't know, it, was, it just didn't feel like, like it was fun anymore. Like, the game just kind of lost hype. Like, um, I know there are some people that are like, oh, the game will never die, it's just now getting better. Yeah, if that's your personal opinion. My personal opinion is the game just isn't that fun anymore. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, if I did hit a nerve, then well, that's, uh, that's kind of your problem. Alright, alright, alright. I think that's enough explaining, guys. Thanks for all your videos. Now let's hear some players announcing their future in Bullet Force. <laughs> Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Trinity here. And as you can see by the title, it says I'm quitting Bullet Force. What's up guys? My name is Delio. Welcome back. I'm done with Bullet Force. Yo, what the fuck? What? Are you dead ass right now? This is the type of shit I'm talking about. I don't want to play this game anymore. Oh, I did it again. Fix this game, dude. Fix this game, please. I'm done playing this game. So yeah, I'm pretty much done with this game. I quit. I'm deleting it right now. Uh, where'd it go? Oh, it's right here. I'm blind as shit. Don't mind about my background. Don't worry about that. I don't know what you're talking about. But yeah, this game is done. I'm never playing it ever again. So that's pretty much it. Shots fired! Shots fired! <laughs> you mad, bro? Why you mad, bro? I make you sad. You're my bad, bro. So what's you mad? Subscribe for more.